Hey y'all, I'm sorry I look a mess, but I just went to get the mail and I had a delivery. So I figured I'd do a quick up like y'all got me in my like house cleaning gear, but that's okay. That's okay. It, it works for me. I, you know, like I told you last night, I'm going to keep it completely honest. What I am is what I am. Yeah, I can't change that. Wish it could sometimes, but no. Okay, this is from Crafts American Group, I believe. This is uh, nitpicks. I don't know. Let me check. Aha! Yes, it is nitpicks. See, I got a pretty, pretty little card here. A fellow fiber enthusiast. And let's see. No hassle returns. Yada yada yada. Aha, these are the Brava worsted I told y'all about. Um Ooh, if I got mine. Yeah. We'll have to see later, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got. And the other two are just slightly different. So um here we go. You ready? Oh, oh yeah, I remember this. Y'all remember there used to be a thing called terracotta. Go figure. I love that yarn color, that, that color, actually terracotta, because it reminded me of the Southwest. And I, it, it looks like they keep changing the names of it to like brick or uh, coral or something like that. And actually, this one is coral. But if you remember terracotta, this would be a uh, medium, a medium terracotta. It's a, uh, it says it's coral, but to me that looks very much like a terracotta color. Um, loved it when I saw it in the old days. So let me see, I'm gonna pull a new, another one. Ooh, pink. Uh, cotton candy actually. It's a light, light pink, but a little darker than what you're seeing on screen. Because what I'm seeing is like blown out by the uh, light from the, let me see if I can get it a little further. Oh, that's about right. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. Oh, and now I've got a seraphim, which is actually a beautiful purple gray. It looks gray there, but it's got like a hint, like a... a it's almost like a light bit lavender. No. Y'all, my brain has just left the building. So we're just going to have to do this on the fly. It's a light, I don't know, not periwinkle. We'll go with lavender for right now because it's the only name that's sticking in my head. But the lightest purple mixed with gray is what it looks like. So it's actually really, really pretty. I like that, you know, this stuff is soft. If y'all haven't tried this, you need to, this is soft. This is just first impressions, y'all. So just bear with me. Oh my gosh. I got a string in my package. Oh, looks like I may have broken off a piece whenever I opened the package. Oops. Here is, it looks like the same, but it's blush. It's much lighter. It's a much paler pink. Oh my God, this stuff is soft. It's squishy. And it's just nitpicks, Brava worsted. Um, it's a little thin for worsted, but I'm hoping it works up a little bigger than it is because, oh, here's another seraphim. Yeah, I think I got doubles on some of these. Let's see. I may have gotten doubles on all of them. Looks like it. Cotton candy. Ooh wee. I'm loving this stack, y'all. I'm loving this stack. It's a pretty oh. Oh. Ah, uh, here's the, the newest color. The one color that I hadn't shown y'all. And it is rouge, and believe me, it really is a rouge. It, beautiful, beautiful. Uh mix of red and pink is what I think rouge is and it's it's just so beautiful oh my god 
Y'all, I'm liking this, but then you, you know, my skin may be tougher than y'all's. Just saying. So my idea of soft may not be your idea of soft. Your idea of soft might be, um, what can I compare this to? Um, this is a little... Oh, my goodness. Simply soft. But it doesn't have the slickness of simply soft, just the softness. It, does that make a sense? Um, it doesn't feel like it's as slick. Although it is kind of a thinnish yarn. Um, but these little things are, oh, y'all, yeah. 218 yards, it's 100% acrylic, so that's a good thing, which means you can wash and dry it. Yay, I like that. It's a number four uh, machine wash, tumble dry low. Um, it suggests anywhere between an I and a K hook, so it looks like it might fall within a range that I, I enjoy working with. So I'm happy with this. I hope uh, the other recipients are as well. I'm excited now. Y'all, okay, I haven't seen the UPS man today, but I don't think I will today because my sister said she's not expecting anything, and it's usually her packages that are coming. Yeah, she's still shopping for Christmas, y'all. Do you know how many presents I've already wrapped? And of course, a lot of them are mine. I've wrapped a lot of mine. I had, oh, I still need, like, different shaped boxes because I mean I'm just I got it everywhere I've got hats everywhere that have, still have to be wrapped I have uh blankets that still have to be wrapped and I've got oh my gosh I mean we're just talking I've got a lot left to wrap but I still have hers to wrap too so I'm gonna be busy but I when I didn't get a lot of purples in mine but I did send purples out to other people and this is what mine looks like. I went with more of a pinkish. Uh, but I had to try the seraphim because it just looks so darn pretty online. And I'm glad I did because I really do like it. And I'm got a, a sort of idea what I want to do. But y'all, this is my last yarn for a long time. Yeah. I can't buy any more yarn. I'm done for a while. I just don't have any more room under my bed or in my closet. Well, I probably could find the room, but I'd, monetarily, I really don't need to buy anymore. Honestly, I really don't. So, that was my last unboxing of yarn. Now, I may have other things I need to unbox, but, you know, well, I don't know if I'm going to buy books either. I need to just put myself on a spending freeze because I spent way too much on yarn in the last three months, four months. Yeah, <laughs> way too much. So I've got some things I've got to do with uh, to get myself a little bit back on track because I just went hog wild with, with yarn. I found some beautiful yarns. People have, you know, talked about some of these beautiful yarns that they've worked with, and I just had to try them. And the mystery boxes, it, I'm so tickled that the sweet roll came in there because, you know, I have been dying to try that one. And uh, so that one's going to be nice. Now, I've got enough yarn to last me. Y'all don't feel bad for me because, trust me, I have enough yarn. I really do. I just have to, you know, use some of what I've got before I even think about buying any more. You know, but I'm like a squirrel. It's so pretty. I want to pack it like little nuts for the winter. <laughs> i got to. I don't know why. But I'm like totally obsessed. And I think it has to do with how it makes me feel. It makes me feel happy to crochet. So as long as I'm working on something, even if it drives me crazy like the hats, although I, those chocolate bonbon hats and I may be making women hats out of these, but I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But if I make hats out of these, what I will do is I will be sending them out to different people. Um, just as a happy 
that's, you know, I, I can't afford giveaways because to me, a giveaway takes a lot more postage than what I'm willing to pay. But a happy doesn't cost as much. And so I'll be glad to do that. Um, just randomly pick somebody, uh, tag you in a post one time and ask for your address. If I ask for your address, yeah, I'm sending you something. And I have somebody, something packed up here right now um, who, I think it was Teresa Patton, gracefully volunteered to take this sweet roll off my hands because I don't want it in my house. But I, I got to wait till I get to the post office again, uh, which is going to be a while, probably the first of the month. Um, but just letting y'all know, I'm putting it out there that, you know, I may not do giveaways, but every once in a while I, I plan on doing happies probably around the first of the month when I get paid because that's when I have money. So to me, that makes more sense to do it then. Just saying. Um, I have no problem discussing the fact I'm on limited income. I am. I'm disabled. I've been that way for uh, going on 10, 11 years. It's been rough. As somebody who worked every single day of their life, you know, for years, it was a rough pill to swallow not being able to work. It really was. I struggled. Oh my gosh, I struggled because I felt like a failure. I felt useless. And that's what led me down the dark path. But I'm back. <laughs> I, you know, came back from it. And if you don't think you can, well, you're wrong. You can. You are important to people. You may not think you are, but you really are. And honestly speaking, I, at the time, I could make, I made it make perfect sense why. Literally, it made perfect sense in my head why. But it's there's really no reason. And if you, if you, email me, I'll be happy to talk to you. I'll probably even give you my phone number if you need somebody to talk to because. To me, keep in contact with people, even if it's voice contact or email contact or text message contact or uh, FaceTime, any kind of contact, human contact on an everyday or every other day basis is really great. So if you know somebody who's like homebound and doesn't get to see people a lot, Call them up every once in a while just to say, hey, how you doing? What you up to? You know, that kind of thing. It, you have no idea how happy it makes people when you do that. You really have no idea. And uh, it, it's amazing. Thunder above creations is the one that I, made, I was trying to remember last time. And she's just the sweetest lady, y'all. If y'all don't... I talked to her on the phone for about, I don't know, 35, 45 minutes. It was wild. She's just as sweet as the day is long. Y'all ought to go check out her channel. Uh, Thunder Above Creations is telling. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, Scraptastic Yarns was talking about something about the new YouTube rules having to do with kid-friendly um, content like Anna Garumi's. And stuff like that. And I'm kind of concerned because, you know, Terry and Ella, uh, Terry from Yarn Joy and podcast and Ella from No Catchy Name, they both do amigurumi and a lot of other people do. No old crochet soul does almost exclusively amigurumi and their channels could be hit, y'all. Um, I don't know what the deal is. So if you could go over to Scraptastic Yarn Joy's podcast and see what she has to say about it. I, I watched it, but it didn't kind of click with me. So I'm going to have to watch it again. I'm one of those who has to watch something more time than one to actually get it to go through. So it has to do with, um, lost a lot of, I killed a lot of brain cells in my youth. Go me. But no, actually, I wish I hadn't. I wish I'd done a little bit more. Uh, actually with my youth and if there are young people watching me go back to a trade school or a technical college or even a, a junior college and just get some education continue to learn if you learn something new every day yeah I'm still doing it 
your mind will stay active. Of course, I've had problems with my memory since I was like 20. <laughs> it runs in our family. What can I say? Oh, okay, y'all. I think I told y'all this story, but I'm going to repeat it because to me it's funny. When I was just learning how to drive, I don't know, I was maybe 14, 15 years old. I just got my license, man. I was a big girl. Uh, thought I knew everything. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> It's funny when we look back at our younger selves and say, oh my gosh, how stupid were you? But anyway, go back to my story I was telling you. Um, so I, my mom let me drive us down to my grandmother's. Now, keep in mind, I've been going to my grandmother's oh God, 10, 11 years since I was a child. I've been going down to her house. I've been riding in the car all the way down to her house. I've actually ridden in the passenger side all the way to her house. I should know my way to my grandmother's house. However, those older than the youngest ones in here will understand this reference. My nickname was Wrong Way Feldman. Yeah, I'm directionally challenged. Seriously so. If my, uh, my any of my cars did not have a compass in it telling me which direction I was going, I had no clue. No, didn't know. So this wonderful trip in which I've got all my sisters and brothers in the car with me, it, save one, and my mom were on our way to my grandmother's house. We were going down to pick peas because in that time, if you're in the South, I hate to tell you, your grandparents had gardens. They call them gardens, but they weren't gardens. They were like fields. And you would go down and you would pick the crops. You would pick the uh, potatoes. You would pick the corn. You would pick the peas. You'd pick the butter bean. Anything that they grew, you went and picked because that was how everybody in the family stored up for winter. Is We would pick them. They would blanch them, freeze them, and then cook them during the year. And trust me, it's it's not a big deal to pick beans or something like that. It's back-breaking work. It really is. And it's hard. But there is a reward at the end, although I don't like beans or peas or anything of the kind. Never have been able to eat them and actually choke on them whenever I eat them. And, that, and it has nothing to do with the actual bean. It's just a reaction I have because I ate some really bad beans one time but that's okay so we're driving down there i'm in the driver's seat and i'm like oh we can take this exit and go the back way and go back up to granny's house and um my mama says are you sure i'm like sure yeah i told you i was a smart aleck, <laughs> smart aleck when i was older <laughs> younger yeah um so we get off on the exit and we're going the back way and I find a turn that I think is the turn and I turn onto it. So we're going down this back way and at first it's great. I mean, it it, it looks familiar. We all think it looks familiar. Even my mom agreed it looked familiar. So we're all going this down this road. And then we get to the bridge. Or should I say lack thereof? Because at that point, the, the road had narrowed to a single car road. The bridge was like two railroad trestles put together for a car to go over. Yeah, I drove over it, y'all, praying the whole time over it. Now, I, I always been a big believer in prayer. And I sincerely believe that that's the only thing that got us over that bridge because it was scary. So I keep on going and we keep on going and we keep on going. And eventually we come out next to my grandmother's house. But we had gotten off on the wrong exit. We got off an exit before we should have. Yeah. That was scary, but we, my mother, she just couldn't believe that she'd let me drive all the way down this crazy road. And it was scary. And I was laughing my butt off later because to me, it was just hilarious. I knew 
where my grandmother lived. I knew how to get to her house. I still got us lost, y'all. Champion wrong way person here. But I inherited it from my grandmother on my mother's side because she was the same way. <laughs> we're so directionally, we were so directionally challenged. I still am. I, I can sit here right now and honestly say, I have no idea which way I'm facing. Mm -mm. I think that way's east, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Don't. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> But I thought y'all would enjoy that little happy today. And um, whatever y'all do, if y'all want me to check out your channels uh, and you haven't heard me call you out before or shout your name out um, or talk about uh, what I thought of your channel, put a comment below. I got another one yesterday that I'm going to go look. Um, so, I mean, if you're not scared of honesty and you really want an honest opinion of what you can do, to make it better, I have, I'll watch it and see what I think. I mean, I can only tell you what I think from my point of view. It's not a diss on whatever your channel's doing or anything like that. And probably I enjoyed the content very much, but I'm nitpicky, y'all. I'm nitpicky when it comes to that stuff. Y'all should see me critique my own videos. I'm sitting there. Yeah, it's a, it's a hoot. One of these days I ought to film a reaction of my videos to me, because I'll tell you one thing, that one video I posted that was me cracking up, I mean, I had to be laughing through the whole video because it was about that straw. That still has me cracking up, y'all. I don't know when I'll get over that, but that was just too funny. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's still too funny. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go now because it's supposed to be a short video and I've already gone over my allotted time for short. It's like 22, 22 minutes. So I'm going to let y'all go and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and have a great week and smile. It makes you feel better. It does. But mean it when you do it because otherwise <laughs> it's not the same. It's really not. Um, y'all have a wonderful week, and I will talk to y'all later. Uh, probably sometime later this week. I don't know yet. I, I just haven't decided. i got to work on that blanket, y'all. I've been putting it all. That granny square blanket, I've been really slacking with it. I've got to get it in gear. And I think what it is is it's that yarn that I'm using has just managed to mess me up so bad I don't want to finish it and that's not right and I've got to get it done pray for me yeah please oh and I watched happy to hook creations I'm sending my love and my prayers out to you um and your husband my grandmother went through it I think I spoke something on this a while back um had the same thing actually um but hers was actually there in her colon um, they took a lot of her colon out. She refused treatment, though, because at that time, it was worse than the cancer. Today, it's not as bad as the cancer. My brother-in-law had uh, bone cancer. Um, they had to irradiate all his marrow, everything, taken down to the ground. And give him blood transfusions to build him back up. And he was in the hospital, y'all, for almost three months. And he's living proof that their treatments have made huge strides. He still takes pills every day, radiation pills, um, to help with some of the other, to keep him cancer-free. And um, for that, I'm very thankful. Uh, I have an idea. I know every time I say that, y'all must go, oh, crap, not another one. But, yeah, I have an idea of something, but I want to check on it first before I let any of y'all know what it is, and we'll go from there. And I have to say, believe it or not, uh, Crochet Grandma gave me the idea with the Project Linus thing that she's doing. Um, she actually put out a video of two really adorable blankets that are just the perfect size for Project Linus. Um, so if y'all get a chance, go over there. 
uh, see those blankets and if you're skilled enough to make them make them uh, they don't look that difficult and she goes she's very thorough in her tutorials as all of those who watch her know she is very thorough and she's very good at teaching so to me yay that that's a two thumbs up although i have to say y'all i'm going off on a tangent again krista from the secret yarnery is the one that taught me how to do the drunken granny stitch and i did a blanket of it for my granddaughter my youngest granddaughter and it was yellow with pink with purple and then pink because that's how the order i did their blankets in was the oldest was pink the middle one was purple and hers was yellow so i, I blended all the colors in street strips to differentiate the each of the colors but together they just came out so pretty i didn't expect that i thought i was just slapping it together yeah, I wasn't taking as much care as I thought I was. Well, I actually apparently did because it came out looking pretty, pretty good. I actually put a border around it, believe it or not. And I don't put borders around my blankets because to me, most of the time, they look finished. Um, except for granny squares. For some reason with granny squares, if you don't put a border, like a, a single crochet border and then maybe... A couple of rows of double crochets it does doesn't look finished um although i have done that with a lot of my blankets i'm i'm gonna have to stop doing it because it really doesn't look the same although mine all came out good because i did that stitch and it just looks like i i don't know how i did it but i got them all pretty dang straight all the sides were pretty dang straight so yeah my daughter says they hold up great through the wash and because of course you know with kids, you wash and dry those things like crazy. It says I use Red Heart Super Saver. It, um, they're washing, washing dryable. So that works out amazingly well. So I like that. Uh, oh gosh, 27 minutes. Y'all gonna kill me. Half y'all won't even watch to the end. Bless your hearts. All right, look, I'm going to go now because I got it. I got to quit talking because, you know, I can talk for about an hour. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.